Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. We're going to be looking at square roots in this video. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so what does it mean by square root? Basically, when they're talking about square root, um, we're actually looking for two numbers that are exactly the same and they multiply by each other to get this, num this final answer. So if you think about 36, uh, you're looking for two numbers that are exactly the same and they multiply um, with each other to give you 36. Now you could do this the old-fashioned way, right? I mean, if you think about it, like if you were to write down the factors of 36, you got 1 times 36, you got 2 times 18, 3 times 12, 4 times 9, and then finally you got um, 6 times 6. So square root of 36 is going to equal to 6. Now, of course, you don't have time to do all of this, right? I mean, what you want to be doing is like putting this straight in the calculator and working it out. Now, in this particular model that I'm looking at, in this particular calculator model, uh, the square root button is right there. So I'm just going to click on square root and I'm going to punch in 36. And that should give me 6 straight away. And for question B, I'm going to just punch it straight away. Square root of 625. And that's going to give me 25 square numbers sometimes they're not perfect squares now the first two um, questions that I've done here they're perfect squares which means when you take a square root of that number you're gonna get a nice beautiful number but if you look at square root of 200 um, so if I do square root of 200 I'm gonna get this 10 square root of 2 don't panic um, particularly if you do have this particular calculator all you got to do is just click on shift and put equals again and that's going to give you your um, decimal answer now obviously this is um, a number that's going to keep on going so we're going to round it up to 14.14 or two decimal places now just be careful folks like um, with your um, respective exams you might have to kind of be keep an eye on the decimal places right for example um, if you're looking at money you wouldn't really go past two decimal places um, but at the same time, if you're looking at units of measurement, um, different units of measurement will have different um, DPs to go with. So that's just something, um, decimal places to go with. So it's just something for you to keep um, keep an eye on. But apart from that, that's just a really quick intro into how to find square root of a number. Now, I will release a, a, a video later on with a couple of different calculator models, um, just so that you can get the hang of um, how to find it in different calculator models. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.